welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java web application project which is entitled as online node management system so before seeing the execution of the project let me be about this project so we all know that every student of the college has to get the no due form from each department at the end of their degree or if they want to leave that college and also this is a very tedious process uh, because in every department they need to check those things manually for example if it is a library they need to check whether they have taken the book or not if there is any due and every department has to check if there any dues or not pending and they need to check it manually and they need to update it so to overcome these kinds of issues so we are going to propose a, a web based secure online no due management system where we are going to maintain the everything a simple database an easy operation and user interface or user friendly and takes less time for the operator to give use with the system and here are all the existing system and disadvantages of the existing system proposed system advantages of proposed system and modules and the system requirements of the project so we have developed this project in the NetBeans IDE 8.2 so first open the NetBeans IDE 8.2 and go to the file menu and click open project now go to the source code location so in the source code you can find the online node management system just select this and click open project now kindly wait that till the complete project has been loaded into the netbeans meanwhile we will attach the database the mysql so just go to the mysql administrator and enter the username and password as root and click ok now in the restore option just click the restore option and then click the open backup file option and now you need to go to the project source code location again and you can find this database folder just select the database folder and you can see the database of this project and select the database and then click start restore so now you can see the restore operation was finished successfully message and click close now the database has been attached and now we can close this mysql administrator but and coming back to the NetBeans IDE you can see the project has been now loaded into the NetBeans part so before starting the project just start the Apache Tomcat server so just go to the services tab and here you can see ser server where you can see the Apache Tomcat now you can see the Tomcat is not running only if you can see the play button symbol here it is running now just right click it and then click start now you can see the loading symbol has been going on and now you can see the play this been changed to play symbol now the apache tomcat server is running now go to the projects tab now select the project and then click run and kindly wait for few seconds so it will be navigated to the browser part once it has been compiled successfully so now it has been built successfully and now you can see the home screen the welcome screen of the project with the project title online node management system with the entities of admin department and contact so now let me go to the admin login and show you and just so admin is only one entity so just you'll be having the default username and password as admin and admin and then click login so now you can just see the admin welcome screen this is the admin home page where you can see the student details so here in the student details you can see search by department option where we have computer science physics chemistry mathematics departments so just let me select computer science and click search you can see student details are not available so i have not added any details right now so this is the first time we are running the project so there is no any data in any department you can see those things now so now go to check no due you can see that is also empty there is no any details available so now let me log out from the admin part now go to the department part so in the department so there are four departments i said you so just let me select uh, computer science department and show you first so the department passwords are given in the project folder itself So 
so you can see the department password for the computer it is computer so just enter the password of the computer science and click login and now you can see the home home screen of the department and now if you go to the, you, see, you can see the options of adding the students view students no due form log out so you can see there is no students right now here so first let me add a student so let me add a student with the student name so this, this is the computer science department so let me name it as cs i'm, I'm not giving going to real name so just giving a short name for example cs csf email id cs at gmail.com date of birth 1-1-2000 so contact number address as so select a student photo So let me select a sample photo and then click the add button so once after adding it you can see the success message here so just go to the view student option now you can see the first student has been added with the student id 1 i have named the student as cs and that has been shown here and for their name i have shown in csf and gmail id data but mobile number and you can see the click profile just if you click that profile you can see the photo of the student with the details of the student so this is the part of adding the student so in this way let me add a student for each and every department so let me go to the physics department now so let me add a student for the physics department ph let me name it as phf for this name and ph at gmail.com i'm not going to give any real name here so you can just give your real names there when you are executing the project and let me select a photo and click add and now if you go to view student option you can see the student id 2 see this is the other department so only those department students will be shown to those peop those department staff so just if you click the profile you can see the thing that we have added right now and let me log out and let me go to the department and then select the chemistry so let me log in with the chemistry department now and let me add a student with ch chf So let me select a photo for this student and then click add and if you go to the view student part now you can see the student which i have added ch is being updated here and let me log out and now let me go to the department login as a final let me add the mathematics tip go to the mathematics department and now let me add a student let me name it as mt let me select the student photo and then click add and now if you go to view student you can see the student detail of this mathematics department is being added and you can see the profile of it so now in this way I have added each student in each department and once if you go to the admin login now and you can see and now if you go to the student details you can see let me select computer science you can see the student detail has been now shown before it was empty and now you can see the detail of this student in the administration so if you go to check no due form you can see the student in the admin part you can see uh, there is no dues been, been not been updated here so let me log out from this part now go to the admin part for department part let me go to the computer science department first and show you so let me log into the computer science department and 
you can see the student that we have added now let me go to no due form option so here you can see the student id student name father's name email id date of birth mobile and now you can see the option of go to no due form so just click this no due form option so here you can see the no due form for each department that is office library SEST, BC, book bank, hostel, room furniture, hostel, office, college, cooperative stores, physical education, students union, workshop, physics laboratory, physics semester laboratory, UG lab, project guide, CC lab, PG lab, department library, B lab, B lab. So these are the options that we have kept right now. So you can just select the options for example in the college d if it is uh, due you can this department can update the detail as due if it is exam fees due you can click and if it is pending fee due you can then select due if it is uh, for the library no due you can select as no due option so whichever option they wanted to they can select it as uh, due or no due or nil options so if there is no option then they can select nil here so i'm just updating the options of each and every category college cooperative store let me select due due physical education no due let me select no due painting things no due no due no due and workshop no due no due no due physics laboratory no due components written no due pending components no due chemistry laboratory no due no due no due ug lab components damage pending components book taken books written components damage pending components pg lab the same and department library and for the lab so I have selected few with the due few with the no due and few with the nil and after this let me click the submit option and now you can see the details added so now if you click this clear no due it will be clear now let me log out and show you the admin part so now let me go to the admin part so in the admin part you can just go to check no due so let me select the computer science and click search so earlier you would have seen it was empty now after the no due details have been updated here you can see the status it is not checked so now if you click this click option here you can see the student uh, did not pay the fees so please contact the administrative office the notification has been sent to the concerned student so just the this is the, we are not we are not going to really send the notification here through uh, email or sms just this is an option that we have kept in such way we can future we can send like that so in this way the admin can update the details to the particular student that there is a dues been up there so here you can see the status that is no due is no due is incompleted so once if the department updates that so let me go to the department part and show you and if you go to the no due form option here if you if the department updates clear no due update no due form so no due clear dues so just if you click the clear dues here you see the dues have been cleared and ok so once if the student has uh, cleared all the dues the department will update this thing and if you go to the admin process now so in the admin part we can go to the check new due form and if you go to the computer science department you can see the no due is completed now so there is no due for the student it, earlier it was incomplete and now you can see it is completed so once if they click this click so it, it, they can send like a notification like dear student your no due form progress is completed so as i said this is just a 
simulation so here we are not going to send any real messages here so just in this way they can notify the student so once if the student wants to check that from the admin department side so in this way the student of uh, every department can be updated you know online so the department can be tracking the details of the node u system and so the admin and department will can see the node u details in online itself and this is all about the project online node u management system using java and thank you for watching